All right, so after what's felt like forever, basically, we finally got the announcement for a brand new unit, the Part 2 LR to the current DB Saga celebration on both Global and JP. And as it turns out, it's going to be LR Youth Bulma. Now, honestly, when I first saw this, I was a little bit disappointed because I was definitely expecting something slightly more hype, right? Uh, a character that uh, got me, you know, more excited. But after I saw the animations and after I looked at her details, uh, this is definitely a top, top, top tier unit, a Z tier unit, if you will. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if she ends up being a top three unit in the game on release. That's how good this unit seems on paper. So even though, uh, yes, a Youth Bulma uh, isn't the most hype character, to me at least, uh, the unit, I feel like, is still pretty damn hype. So with all that said, let's jump right into it. Let's take a look at her animations and then also, of course, uh, go through her kit as well. So. Uh, with that said, I'ma uh, jump right into it. We'll start with the animations first, which are very, very, very clean. And then uh, we'll go through her kit as well. So uh, these are the animations. Let me just throw on some earbuds here. And uh, also pause the music actually. So uh, which one's the left one? Oh, there we go. Okay, so pausing the music and enjoy guys. Should be around here. has been granted. Farewell. Okay, so like I said, um, not the like most hype animations, right? But just really, like really, really well done. Um, very clean. And uh, the nostalgia really gets me, honestly. So I like them. I really do. Uh, the one thing that weirded me out a little bit was Shenron? Did he always look like that? It's been a while since I've watched Dragon Ball, so maybe his design was slightly different back in the day, but um, yeah, he definitely looks very different. So that might just be like the difference between you know, Dragon Ball, Shenron, and uh, you know, later on, like Dragon Ball Z, Shenron. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, the point is, good looking animations, and it only gets better with the kit. So uh, I'm gonna just let this play out again one time you guys can see the active skill again and then uh we'll get into all of the, the details that make this unit so so amazing yeah shenron definitely looks different here he does but maybe it's just the angle maybe it's just me i don't really know but there you go okay so now we're popping over to the uh, unit, we have Super SDR, a quest that makes wishes come true, Youth Bulma. And then uh, from there, oh, we also have Oolong, as you can see in the art too. And of course, he's in the animation. And then getting into the leader skill, it's Dragon Ball Seekers or DB Saga, category key plus 4, HP, attack and defense plus 150%, a pretty standard, you know, legendary summon LR uh, leader skill. It's nothing special at this point, but um, yeah, it's just 
what it is, you know, not a great leader skill, not a terrible leader skill, but pretty low by today's standards. Um, I'm hoping that at some point they just make all, you know, legendary summon LRs 170% at least, right? And then we have the passive, the complete collection of seven Dragon Balls. Activates the entrance animation upon entry once only, key plus three, and guards all attacks for seven turns from start of turn. Good. Key plus four, and attack and defense plus 177%. Solid. Randomly changes key spheres of a certain type, STR excluded, to rainbow key spheres. Damage received minus 7% at the start of each turn, up to 77%. I'm going to repeat that. Damage received minus 7% at the start of each turn, up to 77%. That is insane. Okay, plus an additional attack and defense plus 17% 7, uh, per key sphere obtained. Very good. Plus an additional attack plus 77% with three or more key spheres obtained. And then all allies key plus three, attack and defense plus 37%. Self-excluded for two turns with five or more key spheres obtained. Launches an additional super attack with seven or more key spheres obtained. This unit is incredible. It is just uh, amazing. I mean, I don't really know like how else to put it. It's just so damn good. So damn good. I mean... From the top, we have guard for 7 turns, guaranteed guard, which I love, right? And from there, we have a uh, very good key boost, key plus 4, key plus 3 here as well. And then attack and defense plus 177, unconditionally, is, you know, a good boost. And then on top of that, you're changing rainbow key spheres except for STR, so we have rainbow and STR on the board. And, oh, of course, you can't forget the 7% damage reduction at the start of each turn. And you can say it's a little bit slow because it takes 11 turns to build up, but for the first 7 turns, you get guard, right? So by the time your guard is gone, you're already at 49% damage reduction. So basically 50% damage reduction, right? That's a lot, nonetheless, right? It's not 77, but it's still a lot of damage reduction. And then you're getting 17% attack and defense for every key sphere obtained. On top of the 177, on top of that, you're getting... 77% more attack for three key spheres, which is super easy to get because you're getting rainbow key spheres, right? And then you're also getting this support for two turns. You're not getting it for yourself. So it's self-excluded, which I guess is a slight way to like keep this unit under control. But yeah, nonetheless, E plus three attack and defense plus 37% for all allies for two turns with five or more key spheres. And then the guaranteed additional super with seven or more key spheres. I mean, this unit is, like I said, man, I think easily a top three unit at this point. Um, I might be overhyping it. I, I, I don't know. But just what I see on paper right now is it's it's off the charts, man. It, it really is. So uh, crazy passive. Now let's check out a few other aspects of this unit. Uh, super attack, 12 key, greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, causes colossal damage, and lowers attack. And then 18 key, greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, causes mega colossal damage, with a high chance of performing a crit. So also a built-in 50% crit chance on the 18 key super. So honestly, I would definitely go for additionals with this unit, just because um, you're going to be getting the 18 key basically every turn with how much key and how many orbs this unit's getting. And uh, it's already a 50% 50, 50 chance to crit, right? So additionals, I think, are more beneficial. Um, so yeah, those are the super attacks. And then we have the active skill. Uh, come forth Shenron can be activated starting from the seventh turn from the start of battle. A little bit late, but not terrible. And it's supposed to be a finisher because it changes all key spheres to STR key spheres. All allies keep plus seven, attack and defense plus 17% and attacks effective against all types for one turn. So essentially, you're getting a full board of STR key spheres. So that's a huge nuke. It's going to be a massive, massive nuke. Massive nuke for this unit. And then also, you're guaranteeing super attacks or 18 key supers. 
for everyone on rotation. Um, and you have attacks effective against all types, so it's like it's like a finisher essentially. It's like a finish attack, right? Because that one attack is gonna hit really hard, and if it doesn't kill the enemy, there's a good chance that the rest of your rotation will, with uh, you know the support, right? So um, yeah, a little bit of a long um, turn condition, I guess, or just a lot of turns need to pass for this to be activated, but. It's, it's not terrible, honestly, just because of how good it is. And uh, quickly looking at the links, um, Brainiac, Solid Support, Battlefield Diva, Incredible Adventure, Guidance of Dragon Balls, Fierce Battle, and a Legendary Power. Um, this will go good with, uh, you know, quite a few, I guess, DB Saga units, um, specifically the Path to Power Goku will definitely benefit um, from this unit a lot. And uh, DB Saga is just becoming obviously a very, very impressive category at this point. Dragon Ball Seekers, DB Saga, Peppy Gals, Youth, Earthlings, Earthbred Fighters, and Power of Wishes are the categories. And uh, that's the super attacks again. And I think that's everything. That is everything. Okay, so there you go. That is the Bulma. Um, I don't know about you guys, but uh, I am 100% summoning for this unit just because of how ridiculously ridiculously busted i guess it is it's just super super impressive and uh yeah even though bulma was not my first choice for this part 2 lr uh any unit with this kit is is a must summon so there you have it guys let me know in the comments what you think about the new lr youth bulma are you as impressed as i am or you not care is it a big skip if it is i understand because it is still bulma at the end of the day but this is like you know captain ginyu uh all over again um you know a unit that not a lot of people were expecting or a character that not a lot of people were like super hyped for i guess but just turned out to be a top tier unit just turned out to be like one of the best units in the game and this is absolutely that situation so um, I mean, I don't know what happened to Raditz, uh, but you know. Anyways, with that said, uh, that's going to do it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys are uh, stoked for LR Bulma dropping probably tomorrow. I don't know if there's a release date, actually, but soon, very soon. Tomorrow, day after, uh, you know, not far into the future, uh, I will definitely be summoning. And... Uh, that's all I gotta say for now. Thank you so much for watching, guys. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. Oh, by the way, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there, whether uh, you are a mother or, you know, you're with your mother. Um, happy Mother's Day. And, uh, yeah, uh, with all that said, have an awesome day, guys. <laughs> I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.